If you're in an area that's not covered by cable, DSL, or fiber, you're probably going to end up getting satellite internet. There are only two companies these days offering nationwide satellite internet coverage, and because it's the same technology, these competitors are very similar in a lot of ways. But some big changes have come about in the last couple of years, from new satellites to new names. Uh, yeah, what you know as Exceed is now Viasat, just a heads up. Anyway, today we're just going to talk about the big differences between HughesNet and Viasat. The pricing, the speed, and the data. Let's dive in. When it comes to pricing, there's a lot to unpack here, so we'll just sort everything into likes and dislikes for each brand. We like that Viasat's pricing model includes a lot of choices, so you can customize somewhat depending on your household's needs. Depending on the speed and data you opt for, plans go from 50 to 150 bucks per month. But that brings us to the dislike part, introductory pricing. Viasat's prices go up after only three months, so that 50 to 150 suddenly looks less appealing when it becomes 70 to 200 for the rest of your contract. Speaking of contracts, by the way, both companies require a 24 month contract, but the prospect of early cancellation is slightly less risky with Viasat than it is with HughesNet. Now, as for HughesNet's pricing, we like the simplicity they offer. 50 to 100 bucks a month is the price for the duration of the contract no introductory plans with their price increases. And all of their plans offer the same speed. You just pay more or less depending on how much data you need. What we dislike though is that this simplicity comes with a lack of choice. Ultimately, a comparable plan will cost about the same through either HughesNet or Viasat, but despite the introductory price stuff, we still give the edge to Viasat here because of the options they give you. Along with pricing, speed and data are the other big differences between Viasat and HughesNet. And once again, the story is about simplicity versus choice. Viasat has speeds ranging from 12 to 100 megabits per second with data uh, guidelines, we'll call them, of 40 to 150 gigabytes. They call their plans unlimited, by the way, but once you hit those guidelines, your speed is throttled to the point of being, uh, well, we'll just say less useful. On the HughesNet side, again, it's about simplicity. Every plan has the same 25 megabits per second speed. The only difference is in the data limit, which ranges from 10 to 50 gigabytes. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to know, really. The choice here comes down to simplicity versus, well, choice. We rank Viasat higher because of the variety of plans they offer and the superior speed and data you can potentially get from them. Depending on what you're looking to do though, and depending on how much you value simplicity and pricing, HughesNet could very well be the better option for you. And of course, we want to know what you think of our head-to-head -head comparison, so hit up the comments, and on your way, be sure to like and subscribe, of course. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time.